So today's video, we're going to answer a very pertinent question that a lot of employers and business owners have. I have an employee or several employees and they're always late. What do I do? And that's a very, very big question. So today I'm going to share a few things that you can do. So first and foremost is about being very clear to the said employee that this is considered poor behavior. Now, you might think that's very obvious. But some people think that it's okay to always slide up and down plus minus 15 minutes because then it grows into 30 minutes and it just gets more, if not less, it doesn't get less, right? So first, employees need to know that that is considered poor behavior and how you communicate that to them is in a documented form show them all the times that they have been late if you have a, a timing management system that allows you to do that but you've got to do that and you've got to again share it in an evaluation session so that it's taken seriously because it's affecting performance so first and foremost is them knowing that this is poor behavior the second thing in terms of an employer standpoint sometimes we just get so upset you know oh my gosh you know i pay you and then you've got to come in eight hours a day that is my right you know but uh, on the other hand if the said employee were to stay later than usual mm, good employee but if late 10 minutes bad employee you're not giving me what i pay for blah 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 so there's a little bit of give and take but you see this is where the line gets a bit gray so that's why this video let me share with you a real case uh, yeah? uh, and in this case uh, this supervisor all right this guy uh, has actually he's actually in a supervisor role and he's constantly late and now his constant lateness could be 20 minutes sometimes even half an hour coming into the factory and it's really crucial as a factory supervisor that you open up uh, the factory and start work because production does depend on that time uh, for workers get to work and so when the HR had a conversation with him saying, you know, how come you're always late, you know, and this is not good for your performance, blah, 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 blah. He goes, okay, I'm going to try, I'm going to try. And, you know, and it got to a point where it was really just about, you know, you got to try harder, you got to, you know, but did management or HR understand the situation? Turned out that his issue was that this man needed to send his sick sister to a school because she's a teacher. And uh, in sending her to school to teach, um, he didn't want to leave the sick sister yeah, uh, there at the school before the light went up, you know, at, before the light went up. So if it's before dawn, um, the sun is not up yet and leaving her sister, his sister there would be dangerous for her. Moreover, the fact if he is leaving her there too early, what happens is her safety could be compromised because there's nobody else around. And so therefore what he'd do is he would always... Uh, uh, drop off the sister but he would wait he would wait until the sun is up everything is okay there's no phone call off he goes to work but which makes him a little bit late to his actual uh, factory job now the the key here is that sometimes as an employer we can be all up in our arms with the fact that you gotta pay you this amount of money you gotta deliver but you know sometimes really understanding and making it a point to help this employee so let's just say we stop setting this man up to fail what if he moves his shift down so that he can deliver an extra hour at the end you know, could he do that and will that help the employee win as well instead of it being a loose loose so there are a lot of other ways that we can help our employees as well if they are constantly late but it's understanding their story first if an employee after doing all that you know you've you know you've shifted some time around and you've done your part as an employer and you've you've done that and you know they're still constantly late you know then it comes down to a well look you know you're coming up with a lot of excuses then you know you've got to take it into a bit more of a serious matter now if it's a serious matter you've got the last thing that you do is that your employee does not get any consequence you know he or she is treated just like anybody else so if this employee said employee is constantly late does not take your warnings does not heed that does not care does not change any of his or her attitude then you've got to take it to another matter where you might exclude this employee from certain benefits everybody else gets the benefit except this particular person you might consider 
docking pay because this person is you know if they're part-time yeah or even full-time consider that you might dock that person's pay because some sit consequences and if there's none of that this person continues to behave that way then you're only going to send a very loud message to everybody else in the organization that it is okay to be late so then hopefully um, these tips that I'm giving you uh, will help you to help your employee to adjust his or her behavior but this is the key the key crucial root is if you're facing one of these employees the last thing that you do is not do anything take results take action but remember to exercise your empathy as well because you're all there to gr grow and build a business together have a great business and have a great life and see you next week Oh, 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 oh,